Hey guys, today we gonna discuss critical infrastructure security. Globally, we live in a digital landscape full of cyber threats and vulnerabilities. We are headed to a future where both public and private sector security professionals must employ a highly collaborative and interconnected platform for critical infrastructure cyber security. Critical infrastructure security is the area of concern surrounding the protection of systems, networks, and assets whose continuous operation is deemed necessary to ensure the security of a given nation, its economy, and the public's health and safety. Various governments of different nations have pointed out securing critical infrastructure is a shared responsibility, shared by federal, state, local, tribal, and territorial governments, private companies, and individual citizens. Now let's discuss various sectors which are included in the critical infrastructure security, number one is energy services sector. The energy sector powers almost all economies of the 21st century. Without a steady energy supply, the well-being and welfare of citizens are undermined, and the economy cannot work. For example, a cyber attack in 2015 took out the energy grid in Ukraine for more than 225,000 people by using spear phishing emails. According to United States government officials, none of the industrial power grids can be connected to the Internet to prevent cyber attacks from occurring. The only way that power grids would be disturbed is through a no-tech hacking or physical security breach. Number two is financial services sector. The financial services sector aims to protect our country's most vital source of economic vitality. Widespread blackouts, recent natural disasters, and an increase in the number and advancement of cyber attacks show the extensive variety of potential dangers confronting this sector. Cyber criminals attack the financial sector regularly using all types of threat actors for extortion and financial gain. The most recent Equifax Credit Bureau breach with over 143 million records stolen is considered a critical infrastructure breach. This breach was so far-reaching that it affected nearly half of the American population 44% of the United States. Number 3 is Nuclear Plants, the Waste Material Sector. This sector includes the nuclear infrastructure and power reactors that provide electricity to millions of people as well as the medical isotopes used to treat cancer. Nuclear power plants are a major concern for cyber attacks. Earlier this year, a United States nuclear facility's business records were breached, but the critical infrastructure was not affected. Experts suggest that even though the hackers cannot access the critical infrastructure, they are still obtaining information that may be used later to hack back into the system for full control. It could lead to even more serious attacks. Number 4 is the healthcare sector. The healthcare sector ensures health and safety for all citizens of the given nation. The benefits from this sector are mostly private which requires a coordinated effort and data sharing between the general population and private divisions. It is a fundamental goal to expand and strengthen the country's healthcare and public health. According to a study, the healthcare industry is one of the most frequently breached industries in the world. This sector has an abundance of sensitive data and personal identifiable information that can be exploited by hackers within healthcare organizations. However, many of these organizations are taking a proactive approach to cybersecurity by creating tabletop security exercises, evaluating incident response plans, mandating a patch management program, and securing the IoT devices that are used by doctors and nurses throughout healthcare facilities. Number 4 is Transportation Systems Sector. The transportation systems sector is seeing cyber attacks pick up as well. Most recently, the San Francisco in the United States, a cyber attack infected the light rail system with malware viruses which took its systems offline. The smart connected cities will increasingly become targets for cyber criminals. Number 5 is the communications sector. It is a fundamental part of any economy, and the hidden operations of all organizations, public safety associations, and governments. With the rise in mobile and tablet adoption as well as IoT, the communications sector is one of the biggest targets for cyber attacks. Fiber and switches that connect the networks that power these devices are often a target for attacks. The communications sector is the backbone for connectivity for everything we use including voice, data, internet, and video. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this video, give it thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.